That'll work. Good thing you don't get anything to me, isn't it? Because I'm Lord Nathaniel, okay? I'm dead. I'm in the middle of folding up my parents' room. <laughs> I got it something every once in a while. Um, so yes, yeah, going burst of uh, boredom, mostly. <laughs> so I decided to do a little video. Mainly because I'm playing some games, and, you know, might as well do a video, because I haven't done something in, like, because that was I had a bunch of recorded, but they're now out of date and completely pointless. So, yeah. Games and quite a bit of rounds, right in the end. This is one of these rather long rambles. It's probably going to be two, three parts, I don't know. We'll see, won't we? But, yes. First of all, games. Game side of games for you that I've played and blah, 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 blah. If the music hasn't given it away yet, first game is... It's in the game films, Miles Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth, Miles away. I love the x series, and this is no different, I do like the game a lot. It's a bit of a departure, so, you know, no real arguments, same, the same as the rest of the series. Then I'm going to mix it up by making it slightly more, I like say more interactive, because you actually walk around and explore, but it's the same basic gameplay, well, probably what it actually is, just sort of standard upon me. But, I do like what it did. It is very amusing to use Edgeworth's logic powers, like... I love, I love the idea that... Yeah, Felix Wright, his power is basically... Wait, it's when it went well in the second game, at least. He has an idea of and can see people's eyes. So, there is that. Then you have Apollo Justice. His power is to see little creatures and stuff during testimony. Which, again, I like the implementation of that. I love that Edgeworth's ability is just to use simple logic. <laughs> like, it's an ability that no one else in the freaking game, in, in the, um, Phoenix King zone, in the Eternity's universe actually has. The ability to use logic. But no, I can't, I, I, I admit, it, it does play really well, and I, there's usually a point in a couple of the cases where, you know, time will just slow down as slow realizations come to Edgeworth and you then instantly don't logic mode and piece together the last few puzzle pieces of the puzzle and then we will like to present the last case before the breakdown as is usually the case in most of the cases now there's five cases which makes it on par with um trials and tribulations the third game which is never released here in Australia so I don't think it was and I was able to see it in any stores but you know reach their own and um Technically the first game, even though I do consider Rise from the Ashes as a fifth case of the first game, to be separate from the rest of the main game. I'm not saying I, just need, I, I didn't like it, I absolutely loved that, but it just seems so out of place with the rest of the actual cases. Um, so yes, it looks great, because I mean, I, I don't know what it did, I think they, make, they try to make a surprise case for years, something like that, actually. As, well, as, Good quality, as you can probably get on the DS. But um, no, I think it actually works really well. They look great, and there's some. It does seem a bit fan based because there's lots of there's there's a lot there's more cameos than there are new characters in this game. I don't count me on that. But um, there are but but the new characters there are a lot of them. And I do like most of them. Um, and I stand by, and this is just me. It kind of seems like they were trying really, really hard in this game to show that Miles Edgeworth is not gay. <laughs> this is an observ observation I kind of noticed in that most of the cases have about, I think about three, three of the cases, have about um, uh, fem female characters who show near obsession with Miles Edgeworth, and it's not entirely unreciprocated, especially in about one of them. One of them, for some reason, I kind of almost as almost possibly being canon <laughs> you know I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say anything you play yourself so you can figure out what I did but I don't know there's at least one problematic interest for Edward who is not Phoenix <laughs> but no I, I did like the game it was it was probably it was remarkably long I'll, I'll admit that much it took me just admittedly it only took me about three four days to play through the entire game and I do want to replay it my brother is currently replaying it at the moment and then I will more likely play it with my sister. 
because she can't read properly being dyslexic, I read it to her. And as she, uh, being my younger sister, she always had me read out the games in the character voices. And of course, to me, Edgeworth is English. So I put on a slightly pompous British accent every time I used to read this Edgeworth. It's not really how I... It's, I'm not sure if that's entirely how I hear him as, but you know. But it's like, this Edgeworth, I'm going to get him very soon. And then I'll just get started, I have to voice female characters that want some pain. <laughs> but, um, no, no, honestly, good game, I liked it. Um, bit slow, bit mm, intelligent, yeah, I, I don't look at the intelligence, um, the problem solving is a bit loopy. I am having troubles because I already think like an insane person, but, um, yeah, if you're not good at obtuse logic, you know, I'd say it's a bit hit and miss in some of the problem solving areas. Especially the third and the fifth case. So it drove me nuts in some cases places. Most of the third, I don't know. That one really that one really bugged me. <laughs> um now then. It's change spoken for. Let's talk to another game with incredibly strong um gameplay story segregation. And that would be Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 13. Final Fantasy 13. I got those episodes mixed up, this day, didn't I? Right. Yes, I have been playing Final Fantasy 13 on the PlayStation 3 because I don't have an Xbox, so I don't support Microsoft as a gaming system. No, no, tweet. No, not talking to you. Tweet their own. I just don't like the Xbox. I've played it, so I don't give a shit about it. I mean, if I, I'm sure if I owned one, I'd be a bit more. Hey, yeah, let's go for it, but no, nah, I don't own one. I just don't care. I have a Wii, I got like five DS's in the house, two of them mine, three of, two of them mine, three of them broken, two of those broken are still working, my own ones are broken, not working. <laughs> um, I might get a DSi sometime, at some point, I don't know. Um, yeah, you know, this will increase my amount to like three or something, I don't know. But yeah, anyway. Final Fantasy Thirteen. God damn it, Nathan! Final Fantasy Thirteen. This is the art book because me and my brother paid for the special edition because we're tired. Which in Australia I believe costs somewhere along the lines of one hundred fifty dollars. And because I live in Australia, I'd be paid that much money for it. <laughs> just, just, just clarifying. I'm not speaking for anyway. Yes. So, Final Fantasy Thirteen. I like it a lot, and I am a, I am a Final Fantasy fan, a fan. I have played every game except for eleven, because that's an MMO and I don't like MMOs. So I'll probably I will I will be skipping fourteen as well. I'm not I I do not play online games. I don't like online games. Multiplayer like dual screen, you know, Street Fighter or um, FPS like Borderlands and stuff like that. I like okay with. But online games, I mean I won't even play Borderlands online. Really, I don't like online games. I just see the see 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 see, see the gift theory for my reasons for not liking online games. <laughs> also, I'm just not very sociable. I'm got my silent bath. I, I prefer single player games. So a little bit now. Anyway, I do not like online games. So Final Fantasy is a series I like. Say for the MMOs, I have played every game. Except for 9. I have not played 9, because I kind of missed... I never got a PlayStation 1. I had a PlayStation, PlayStation 2 near the end of its lifespan. So I played 10, of course, and 12. Um, but I never I never actually played 9. And I'm waiting for it to come out on the PlayStation Network, because I know it will. They've got 7 and 8 out there already. <laughs> so I know they're going to put out 9, probably before the release of 14. I'm guessing, I'm guessing. And... Yeah, I'm waiting for it to come out there, so I'll give a check, get a chance to play it then. But, um, apart from that, I'll play every other game. To, com to completion, actually. The only game I've never finished is 8, because that's actually still in progress. I'm about... I'm on disc... 3? Yeah, I'm, I'm on the, nearly on disc 3, I believe. Um, so yes, Final Fantasy 13, I've been playing. And since I'm reaching the 10 minute mark, yes, I shall pause this, and I shall tell you more about it in five seconds or so. Back in a moment, guys.